Hi, in the last few videos I've given you some background information about the differences between the three countries where we're selling properties. They are Austria, France and Switzerland and the rules and regulations are quite different in each of them. In this one I thought I'd try to summarize that to bring it all together for you. It's now the end of April and at this time of year I'd be traveling to see clients to visit you in your house, your office, or the city where you live. That's not possible unfortunately because of the pandemic which has now locked down most of the world. So I thought I'd make a short video which addresses you, perhaps wherever you live, and to give you the benefit of my advice. Because often at the end of a cosy chat with a client they ask me, well what would be best for me? One of the things is it depends on where you live in your commute time. So if you're living in Hong Kong or Singapore or Dubai, then you plan in advance your trips to Europe, to the Alps, you know when you're going to go, and you're quite happy to rent your property out when you're not there, because you can work around that. If you're living in London or closer to the Alps, you may be lucky enough to be able to pop over there on a whim. When the weather, the ski conditions are good, you book a flight and go for a long weekend. Well, that's clearly not going to work if you've rented your property and you're obliged to rent it. So if a rental obligation is okay for you, then Austria is fine. If a rental obligation doesn't work for you, then maybe you should be better off looking at France or Switzerland. Then we look at the commute distance, of course, of where you are, and if you're looking if you're living in uh, the Netherlands, so I often go to client visits in Amsterdam, also in uh, Belgium, Brussels, Antwerp, and for them Austria does work because it's the nearest country for them to get to and the language is uh, in many cases quite similar and uh, they are attracted by those countries. It's not always the case because of course some of our clients are looking to diversify and if you're living in one of those European countries, you may already be heavily invested in euros. For some clients, this isn't a second home, often it's a third home. It's the house that they live in. They have already a property on the beach in, say, north of Holland, and they're looking for a third property. And maybe instead of investing in uh, France or Austria in more euros, they prefer to look instead at Switzerland. So it does depend on your um, uh, location as to what would work best for you. There are also some strange quirks, so for example if you're American we get a lot of Americans asking to buy in Switzerland and we have to tell them that unfortunately because of a major fallout between the IRS and the Swiss banks many years ago that Swiss banks now are very reluctant to lend to American buyers. So unless you're a cash buyer and you are American, you'd be better off looking in Austria or in France, where those banks are happy to lend to you. Each country is different, each conversation is different. If you'd like to have the conversation with me, then we can do that by phone, or we can do it by Zoom. The fact that we can't travel anymore doesn't mean to say we can't communicate anymore. So I'd be very pleased to hear from you with your own inquiry, where would be best for me to buy, I'm very happy to advise me. So find my details on the website. I'm Simon Molster and I'm the MD of Investors in Property and I do hope I'll be able to help you. Thank you. See you next time.